Hi kids, my name is Pastor Kobe, and I know things have looked really different around here recently with the coronavirus being around, uh, but it is important for us to remember that we're not the only ones going through this. There's boys and girls all over the world who are in quarantine too. That got me thinking about Miss Veronica, who's a missionary in Germany, and she's working with kids at a special school there. I wanted to go and check in and see how they're doing, and if they're having a lot of the same things go on there as we are, but all the airports are closed. So I realized I'm going to have to mail myself instead. So, I got myself a special box with a shrink feature. That should make my trip much nicer. I've got some food and some water to hold me over for my long trip. All right, we're ready to go. All right, Mike, drop me in the mail. mail from Pastor Kobe. I wonder what he could have sent me right now. That's super nice. Um, so what? Pastor Kobe? How did you, what did you, how are you so small? <laughs> I wanted to come visit. You have to hit the button on the side of the box to unshrink me. Okay, that sounds, sure, that, that sounds right. I mean, look, it's right here, okay. Hmm. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, it was a long ride. I mean, I wanted to come and see you and the kids in Germany and see how things were going on over here. Things have been really crazy in America. Yeah, thanks for coming all this way. Um, why don't we sit down okay. and catch up? What do you mean things are crazy? Well, we have this thing called the coronavirus and it has canceled almost everything. We can't go to school or even church. Yeah, that. Uh, we have that here too. We can't go to church either, at least not in person. What about your job? Are people still able to work? Yeah, most people have still been able to work, at least a little bit. I know a lot of them from home. I've been able to do the really important parts of my job from home on my computer. Okay, I'm glad you can still work. How are the kids? Uh, actually, a lot of them went home to other countries to be with their families, but a lot of them are still here. They're a little bit disappointed that all the fun and exciting things keep getting canceled. Yeah, our kids are pretty bummed too. They're making the best of it. They miss school and their friends and church. Yeah, our kids are at least able to do online school right now. Our teachers are still teaching. Um, even our elder kids are going to be able to be back in the school now that it's May because they might have tests that they need to take. Oh, most of our kids are doing school online too. Moms and dads are also doing their very best to be homeschool teachers for the very first time. That's great. So what are you guys doing for fun while you're separated? Well, I really enjoy the Google Hangouts I get to do with the kids. And uh, something I'm really grateful for is that uh, we can all still go outside and play in our yards and even do walks and bike rides with the people that we live with. Uh, a few of the kids even told me that they're building forts outside too. What about you guys? Can you do some of those things for fun? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. But yeah, we've actually been doing a lot of those same things here too. Um, we've been outside a lot because it's been like so nice for at least the last month. It's been crazy. Um, so we do a lot of things outside and, you know, as the Germans say, there's really no bad weather, only bad clothing. So even if it wasn't nice, all you really need is some boots and an umbrella. Well, I've been going outside with my family a lot. It's been pretty fun. Yeah, you can definitely still have fun in quarantine, especially if you have an imagination. Wait, can you still get jelly donuts in quarantine? Yeah, they're even behind a special protective barrier when you go up to the bakery counter. Gotta keep those treats safe, you know. Whew, that would have been a tragedy if you couldn't get your jelly donuts in quarantine. But uh, what are some ways that you and others have been helping other people out right now? I've been doing is going to help out at one of the places where some of our students live. We've been making different recipes together and they even let me judge a cupcake competition one night which was pretty sweet. Um, I've also been making stuff for my friends and neighbors. I've been writing these teeny tiny little letters for people and putting them in their mailboxes with silly drawings. And it just seems like there's a lot of people that want to help each other out right now. That's so cool. I'm really glad to hear people are working together. 
I guess for my part, I've been working with Mike to put together silly videos for the kids and uh, doing my best to still teach them about the Bible even though we're not together. I'm really glad to uh, have also be seeing people helping out with those who uh, have lost their jobs by buying them groceries and uh, lots of people making masks and cheering on our medical workers. Wow, that's great. I'm glad that they're doing those things. It is, but I should really be heading back. Do you think you could teach me any German before I go? Sure. How about wash your hands? Sounds perfect. Okay, so it's wash deine Hände. Wash deine Hände. Sure, that, that's good enough, I guess. Uh, maybe it's good you're visiting, you know, you don't live here. But anyway, thanks for coming all this way just to see me and check in. Well, it was good to see you again. Thanks for serving the kids here in Germany. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Pastor Kobe. Or as we say here, choose. All right, looks like Kobe's back. Uh, button. Okay. See you later, Kobe. Ah! Whew, it's good to be back. Well, kids, I hope you enjoyed visiting Miss Veronica and hearing about how her and all the kids are doing over in Germany. I really hope you would join me in praying for not just America, but all the countries all over the world who are working together right now to fight back against coronavirus. Miss Veronica said she would love to answer any questions you guys have too. So you can let me know your questions and I'll ask them to her. It could be questions about being a missionary, what it's like being in quarantine in another country, or uh, whatever you're curious about, about how her life works over there in Germany. You can have your parents send those questions to me by call, text, or email. My number is on the church website, or in, as well as my email, uh, which is kobim at hopewellchurch.org. Thanks for coming along uh, to visit Miss Veronica with me, and remember, God is good, love you guys, miss you, and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.